For better or worse, we live in a world profoundly affected by Sigmund Freud. If I had to ask you to name a famous psychologist, the answer of most of you would be Freud. He was the most famous psychologist ever and he had a profound influence on the 20th and 21st century. Some biographical information, he was born in the 1850s. We were also asked for the first time really I was actually taken aback by the brief, we were asked what you do please preserve the smell. It is so important to our audience. It is so important how people perceive the library. So, that is, that was quite an important message in our research. And indeed the smell is an important way of how we communicate with the environment. Traditional instruments are the shape and size and made of the materials they are because of the sound that they need to make. If you want to make a sound like a plucked string, you need a string that needs to be under tension, whereas with a skug, because it's a mixture of software and a sensor, then thus the computer can handle making the sound. Obviously, something had to be done and in 1956 a Clean Air Act was introduced in Britain. This addressed the pollution from factories and the smog soon disappeared. However, as you know, these days air pollution is still a big issue. The main difference between now and the 1950s is that you can't see it, it's invisible. The Western countries' women are becoming more and more reluctant to give birth to babies. However, the male status in society remains as strong as it ever has in recent years. The birth rates increased during 20th century but it starts to decrease over these last two decades. In the year 2000, as an example, the birth rate remained at around 1%. Our research underscores the importance of public policy that targets energy insecurity and its underlying causes. Weatherization assistance, incentives for residential solar power, energy bill assistance, and utility disconnection protections are all viable strategies for helping the millions of households across the country that are currently unable to pay their energy bills.
we're really expert at recognizing faces. So again, we can think about how do we take that visual information and how do we transform it into a form which allows us to put a name to a face and to do all the other clever things that we can do with faces. So I'm going to start off again by just pointing out that it's a hard problem. Face recognition is a hard problem and it's a clever thing we do. There comes a time in a desert ant's life when a piece of food is too large to ignore, but too heavy to lift, and the only way to get it home is to adopt a new style of walking. The long-legged and speedy Cataglyphus fortis normally covers ground with a three-legged stride that moves two legs forwards on one side, and one on the other. According to the World Health Organization, 400 million people worldwide have no access to essential health care. That's a staggering number of people. Some of those services include things like basic sanitation and clean water, prenatal care, and vaccinations or immunizations for children. Many things contribute to this crisis. During this time my goals are going to be to talk about the phenomenon that we may share in part with other animals, and our language and that is emotion. And also talk about some new technology, brain imaging, functional magnetic imaging. And we try to answer some very old questions about how else does motivation and emotion work. The stories are almost always in the form of one person lifting a car off of another. In each of these cases, some aspect of leverage or buoyancy probably played some role in reducing the magnitude of the feat to something more believable. And even lifting many cars by several inches still leaves most of its weight supported by the suspension springs. All of my research and that I conducted with my 60-plus graduate students was motivated by their need to learn so that we can teach. Of course, in some inventions happened along the way, but I've always considered the end the result. And I always consider that this invention to be byproduct, byproducts of the learning process.
The findings are in the proceedings of the Royal Society B. The world's becoming increasingly urbanized, and light pollution is growing, which French Constant says could trick trees into budding earlier and earlier. But smarter lighting, like LEDs that dial down certain wavelengths, could help. In 1962 the technology did not yet exist to directly manipulate the genes of plants, and so IR8 was created by carefully crossing existing varieties, selecting the best from each generation, further modifying them, and finally finding the best. Here is the power of modified crops, IR8, with no fertilizer, straight out of the box, produced five times the yield of traditional rice varieties. I have said before that you can't have a civilization that doesn't have art. When we think about the great civilizations historically, all of them had great production of culture and art, because a society has to be able to observe itself. And the sophistication of the great civilizations were their ability to look at themselves and what allows a society to do that. Climate change, some adverse effects of climate changes to agricultural productions. Some lands are unsuitable for growing crops. There will be millions of people facing hunger in Africa in the future. Climate change will result in less production and less food. You might suppose that that many stars would light up the night like daytime. Until the 20th century, astronomers didn't think it was even possible to count all the stars in the universe. They thought the universe went on forever. In other words, they thought the universe was infinite. Besides being very hard to imagine, the trouble with an infinite universe is that no matter where you look in the night sky, you should see a star. While the thinking brain, which is the most objective part of the brain, receiving input from the primitive brain and the limit brain. However, he needed more time to process information from the primitive brain and the limit brain. The brain thinks the merger is also a place of experience, memory, feeling, and thinking ability to give birth to ideas and actions.
I believe our borders should be open, but if that is not politically acceptable for now, Europe should at least open up a legal route for people from developing countries to come work here. Over time, hopefully, we can move to a position where borders are completely open. Persuading septics won't be easy. The street plan and distinctive appearance of the center of Paris today is largely the result of Haussmann's renovation. In the middle of the 19th century, the center of Paris was overcrowded, dark, dangerous, and unhealthy.